Hey guys, it's Jake Mace with jakemace.com. My new website is learnfromjake.com. Check it out before this video starts. Please do me a favor, hit the like button, turn on my post notifications below with the bell button, subscribe, and give me a comment of what martial arts style you take and where in the world you're watching from. I have a lot of kicking tutorials here on my YouTube channel. And last week I did a video about why you see a Chinese martial artist like myself wearing a Japanese style uniform. This is not a Japanese style uniform, it's a Chinese style uniform. Go to the video to figure out why. In this video I wanna talk about kicks. I have a ton of kicking tutorials here on my YouTube channel and I have a kicking and stretching DVD you can get at jakemace.com or you can do it as a DVD download and download it right to your device. And today we touched on a really important aspect of kicks, which is if you wanna kick powerfully and you wanna kick high and have a lot of range, don't lift up when you kick. It's very simple, if I turn to the side, a lot of folks, especially beginners, think they need to lift higher for the kick. And what you'll find really quick is that your flexibility is worse, your kicking is less powerful, and in sparring or fighting, you're very prone to getting swept or getting taken out because a skillful fighter can use your unbalanced position against you. So when I wanna throw a powerful kick, and I wanna throw a high kick, I stay low, okay? Yin and yang in the martial arts. I stay low and gather my energy from the earth like an earthbender, okay, for all my nerds out there. So we're gonna have that low center of gravity, stay low and kick high. Keep the flex in that knee, okay? Every athlete on the planet, baseball swing, Knees bent, staying low. Golf swing, stay rooted and into the ball this way. Football player, ready for the tackle. Martial artist, rooted, ready for the kick, drawing the power from the earth. When you guys throw your kick, stay low. One, two, three, four, five, excuse me. I no longer want to count that way. Apparently, according to a lot of other martial artists on YouTube, they've made it very clear that I'm Caucasian, that I'm white. And maybe it might not be welcome that a guy like me, born in Canada, to the family I was, is maybe not quite welcome to teach traditional Chinese martial arts. So I can't change this. This is what you get. But what I will try to do in the new year is offer a lot more Chinese culture and Chinese language on my channel, including I'm gonna teach some upcoming YouTube videos totally in Mandarin, so we can shuo zhongwen together and work on our putonghua, our Mandarin. So when you guys are counting for Chinese martial arts, always use Mandarin and teach yourself some culture, some Chinese culture. So good position, root the stance. Eat, snap it. Oh. Sun, stay low, root it. Sun, wu, liu, qi, ba, jiu, shirt. Other leg, same thing. Okay, hands out in front. I like the sparring stance of 60% weight forward. Arms closed off in front. Make yourself a hard target to hit. E, snap it, bottom leg rooted. Oh, so, so, woo, leo, chi, root, ba, jump, shirt, and set. This goes for round kicks. If it's a round kick, stay rooted. Other leg, stay rooted. If it's a side kick, boom, stay rooted. From this side, pa, stay rooted. This side, rooted. If you guys practice this strong foundation, not only will your legs get stronger, but your kicks will be more powerful. You'll have better timing in sparring, better accuracy in sparring, and better flexibility. I practice my kicks every single day, and I have a lot of routines here on YouTube that can help you. Thanks for watching. Check out my social media, Jake Mace Tai Chi, and all the links down below, and I'll see you guys back here next time.